Morgan. Uh, can I have a omelet with all veggies, please? Thank you so much. We always get way too excited over buffet. I know. <laughs> it looks so cool. This looks good though. You did a pretty good job. Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to Berlin. If you missed yesterday's video, we did a food tour of Berlin, but today we thought we'd give you a bit of a city guide. Yes. Got some places to see and maybe a little bit of adventure if the weather holds up. The cold chill continues here in Berlin, but I must say guys, do the public transport when you're here. It's quite cheap and it's so unbelievably efficient. Well, especially if you get the welcome card. Here comes the wind, do 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 do. It's a TV town. So our first stop is probably gonna butcher this name, Alexanderplatz. <laughs> it's like a bit of a square. You've got some shops here. We stayed here the last time we were in Berlin. It's a really central location. You can head to a lot of different sites to see around Berlin, but also it's in front of the TV tower. If you're wondering whether we're going up there, you might just want to wait till later on in the episode because I think we're going to get a better view of Berlin later on. I'm trying to teach Jess direction. She's so bad at direction. I tricked myself to climb up. <laughs> yeah, All you found on my own. <laughs> yeah, this is how it should be. Whoa. I'm turning off my phone, yo. I ain't got no worries. Yeah, my life is normal. Hanging with my literally mom. just poured with rain and now the sun's back out. The weather here is so confusing. But because it is a little bit rainy, we've decided to come down to the water. And if you cross this bridge, you get to Museum Island. And it's made up of five different museums, all on like a little island. And we're thinking of going to New Museum, right? Yes. Because that's like the Human Artifact Museum. And it has Queen Nefertiti, is that how you say it? Nefertiti? Nefertiti? Nefer Nefertiti. And like some Egyptian stuff. It has like artifacts from like human caveman times. So we're going to go check that out. So currently on Museum Island, there's an absolutely breathtaking cathedral just here. Perfect place for a picnic. The whole reason we're here is because it's meant to be terrible weather. And we got here and now the sun is shining, but I still want to go in there because last time we came here, we had a little picnic on Museum Island, remember? Yeah, with Cleo. But this time we want to actually go inside one and check it out. Pergamon, that's the one that everyone says is the most beautiful, but they're currently renovating it. So, new museum. Apparently that renovation is going to be going on for quite a few years. However, you can still go inside it. to come and see in the new museum is the bust of Nefertiti. So a German explorer actually found her in Egypt and brought it here. There's a lot of controversy because the Egyptians want her back because they realize how important this artifact is, but because the Germans discovered it, they're hanging on to it. So there's a bit of conflict of interest there, but super interesting to go and see that. It's in a room where we weren't really allowed to take photographs, but the coloring on the bust was really interesting. They've preserved it so well. When your dog has something it shouldn't be eating. This is what the bus looked like where we weren't allowed to film. The detail, it's worth coming in here to see it for yourself. Oh my goodness. What have you given me, Jess? Alrighty guys, so yesterday's curry worst was so good and that was what, curry 36? Yep. We found another one, curry 61, and they did vegan again. But this time I decided to go a little bit different. So she brinkled this like curry powder on there. Then there's ketchup, which she said had honey in it, 
Okay. So if you're vegan, just remember there's honey in the sauce, and then she's given a fries with heaps of mayo. Well, what's the review? Yesterday was so good, I was like, we have to go again. All right. Not as good? Just as good. Oh, just as good. So yummy. The sauce is so good. Like the curry powder. Yum. No, the actual ketchup. And ketchup. is the mayonnaise any different? Oh yeah, let's try the fry. The fritz? And then they put this like orangey powder all over the chips. They give you a lot of mayo. What's the powder taste mm. like? Curry again? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like really yummy seasoning. And the mayo is like full on egg mayo. So we are actually at the airport. No, not leaving Berlin just yet. But we are going to be jumping on a cheeky little helicopter ride to see Berlin from the air, which is pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that here. A nice little star tour. Champagne. <laughs> at the champagne airport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, champagne at the airport. That's so true. Oh. Hello. Uh, um, this is so cool. <laughs> this is the fanciest airport shuttle. Well, this is the first. I don't think I've ever been taken to my flight in a limousine before. Yeah, yeah, I can buy And it's not raining. Yes, this is perfect. This is your pilot license. Thank you. <laughs> Jessica and Stephen. Yes, thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> it's like Mari car, German style. All right, I hope you enjoyed that uh, slight detour. We're back in the city. A couple of places we want to show you towards the end of our little city guide. First one is this little university. Kind of famous for a few reasons. One, Albert Einstein went here. Karl Marx went here. But most recently is during the Nazi regime, students came here, went to this library, took out thousands of books, put them in this middle of this square and burnt them all. Of course, a lot of those books were Jewish history books and the memorial. It was kind of hard to see because of the glare, but it's a hole in the floor. You're looking down and it's empty bookshelves. OK, one of the stranger things that I've seen in Berlin is we thought the go to souvenir was to pick up the little Berlin bear, what they gave us when we arrived from Singapore. Uh -huh. So you know the traffic lights and it's the little green man and it's the little red man that says you can go and you must stop. For some reason, everyone loved the look of them here in Berlin. They're actually called the Ample Man. That is the tourist thing to get. There's an entire store dedicated to souvenirs. Backpacks, feeling into the FIFA World Cup, t-shirts, Ample Man coffee. Ample Man curryware sauce. Oh wow. <laughs> there is literally merch everywhere. They even have Ample Man lollies. Yum. Mm -hmm. mm, apple. Alrighty guys, we've come down to the Holocaust Museum and it's made up of hundreds of these columns at all different sizes. We're right in the middle right now and look how high they go up. So interesting because we're right in the heart of the city. Like the Brandenburg Gate is just to the left of us and there's a soccer game going on. You can't really hear much in here. And it's just so interesting. You can walk through here and get lost. It's such a unique memorial to walk around.
So at the moment the World Cup is on and it's really cool because in Germany they do these public viewings and right in front of the Brandenburg Gate they have giant screens where people can come and watch the game for free. So here's the big screen right in front of the gate but I have a feeling that they only play it on here when it's the German games because we've come like two nights now and it's never been on we're hoping to catch a game here but they do have screens inside their beer gardens and stuff and they also have yeah there's like some street food just set up here and a lot of them will have like a smaller screen and you can watch the game yeah I think a game is about to start Imagine if Germany is in like the semis or even in the finals and you're right here in the heart of Berlin in front of the Brandenburg Gate. This place would be insane. And also, look at this street. This is like Celebration Street. There are multiple screens, like three or four screens that go all the way down there. All street vendors. This place would be insane if there's a major match on. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that two-part Berlin episode. Now we're about to go and hire a car and go on a German road trip. So make sure you hit subscribe for that and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Guys, we're staying in a castle! <laughs> we're going on a German road trip. Cars are coming past so fast. The blue one and the pink one and the green one and the yellow one and the